In the first two modules, we dealt with the norm. Here, we're dealing with more irregular forms, so practicing them becomes even more important. Practicing your language out loud is part of the normal learning process. Instead of straight rote learning, we'll ask you to play around a bit, have some fun, and apply your newly acquired language skills. And the best thing about practicing out loud is that it's a lot more effective in terms of memory retention. In spite of our great ability to reflect, the human brain is still very much geared for action. Memorizing language in context is therefore a lot more successful and effortless than just learning a list of words or word forms. Our brain prefers to learn patterns and connect things rather than memorizing isolated bits and pieces. Always form sentences when you learn something new. But enough of theory, let's practice. Let's do a few things now that are more games than exercises. You should hopefully have found a partner to work and have fun with. And if not, look out for a study buddy now. You'll gain so much by having somebody not only to help you with things, but also to play with, commiserate, and talk to. Remember, it's a language you're learning. So we'll actually start with a game or two to encourage you to find somebody to play with. Memory. I assume that most of you know the game called Memory, where you have to match up pairs of cards. But if you don't, here are the rules adapted for learning irregular verb forms. You'll have to make the cards yourself, of course, but we'll give you as much help as we can. And by doing it, you'll take an important step towards learning the irregular verb forms. On your screen, you see a list of irregular verbs, both in the infinitive and in the third person singular. Cut out each form and stick it onto a card. If you're too lazy to cut out the cardboard cards yourself, buy a cheap set of normal playing cards and just glue on the bits of paper with the forms on them. You should end up with a set of 36 cards consisting of 18 infinitives and 18 air z forms. You now mark the cards with the infinitives with a circle and the air z form cards with a cross drawn on the back. Leave a bit of room on the air z cards as we'll add another form later on for learning the simple past. You start the game by thoroughly shuffling the cards and then laying them out in a square six cards wide and six cards deep with their backs showing. Remember, crosses indicate infinitives, circles, air z forms. You now take turns lifting up two cards, one with a cross and one with a circle turning them over and memorizing their position. If you happen to lift up a pair of cards belonging together like lesen and er sie liest, you can remove the card pair from the grid and put it in front of you as your stack. You also get another turn. Otherwise, you put the cards back in the same spot with the circle and cross showing and your partner gets a turn. The player who ends up with more pairs of cards at the end wins. Of course, it's all about memorizing where the cards are so that you get a chance later in the game to lift up a pair that you know belongs together. We pretty much guarantee that you'll learn all the irregular forms simply by playing this game a few times, which is actually a lot of fun too. Remember that with the exception of the verb sein, to be, you can derive all other irregular verb forms from the third person singular. So the small investment of making up the cards will more than repay you. The verb forms which you can print out from the digital booklet are haben to have er sie es hat sein to be er sie es ist wissen to know er sie es weiß geben to give er sie es gibt essen to eat er sie es ist nehmen to take er sie es nimmt sprechen to speak er sie es spricht treffen to meet er sie es trifft vergessen to forget er sie es vergisst werden to become er sie es wird lesen to read er sie es liest sehen to see 
Er sie es sieht. Fahren. To drive. Er sie es fährt. Fallen. To fall. Er sie es fällt. Halten. To hold. To stop. Er sie es hält. Laufen. To run. Er sie es läuft. Schlafen. To sleep. Er sie es schläft. Tragen. To carry or to wear. Er sie es trägt. Irregular race. We thought we'd better give you another game where you can use the cards you made up so that you're really happy to have invested the time. You also need an existing game board, like a Ludo or a Snakes and Ladders board, where players move from field to field in a line according to the throw of the dice. If some fields are not marked already, like in Snakes and Ladders, you can mark them yourself by colouring them in, for example. Use a pencil if it's a board you want to use again, and don't steal or wreck your little brother's Ludo, will you? Remember that you have to add personal pronouns to the marked fields and use all different pronouns, not only er, sie, es, like we did in memory. All you have to do now is take your cards, the ones with the infinitive form on them that you prepared for memory, put them all upside down on a stack and take a card each time you get on a marked field. If you can form the correct verb form as indicated by the personal pronoun, you get another throw of the dice. If you make a mistake, you have to sit out a turn. You can use the airs yes form list we gave you in memory or the one in the digital booklet to check on the forms. Remember that only the second and third person singular form have a changed stem. All the other forms are normal, but you still have to get the endings right, of course. Once you've dealt with a form, Put the card back onto the bottom of the stack. Happy racing! Double trouble. We're moving on to sentences now and to another game for two that you could also play on your own. You first cut out all the part sentences we give you in the two columns on the right. Print them out from the digital booklet. Fold them in half and put them in a hat. You now take turns in taking one of the folded slips of paper and reading it out aloud. The first one of you to come up with the correct verb form in front of the half sentence wins a point. If, for example, you pick up the slip with ein Geschenk on it, then the winning answer would be du gibst. We're using the second person singular now, as this, together with the third person we practiced in the memory game, is the other form with a changed stem. As you can see, there are one or two half sentences per verb, and you can look up the correct sentences in the table below. We tried to make the examples as unambiguous as possible, but occasionally there might be more than one combination possible. Just use your common sense. This game will teach you, fairly effortlessly, a lot of useful patterns of speech. We're going to use the same verbs as before, so you can look up their meaning in the list we just gave you in memory. Who's the boss? We couldn't possibly continue without suggesting a game involving the imperative. It's so nice to boss people around, and that's exactly what you're going to do. Well, you definitely can't do this game on your own. What you do is to simply give your partner a command like Sprich, Lies, Zing, Komm. If your partner thinks that the form is correct, he or she obliges and obeys you by doing what you command. If your partner thinks that the form is incorrect, he or she doesn't budge until you've used the correct form. We have to leave it up to you to find the correct forms for once, but you shouldn't have any trouble. Just look up the rules and have a robust discussion. It'll help to create the right atmosphere. But watch out, you're only allowed to make two mistakes and then the tables are turned and your partner can take revenge and make you sing and dance. Have fun! <laughs>